When I lived on the island, my mother taught me how to sew and knit and embroider and cook and wash and iron. I used to sit beside my mother as she did the ironing and watch the ritual and smell the warm cloth that had dried in the fresh air. She would let me iron the handkerchiefs. We loved each other. But when I was grown up and my mother was dying, a dreadful thing happened to our love. Hating her own pain and death, my mother hated me. She sent me from her house, from the island, and she burnt all the photographs she had kept of me. The sewing machine that used to be stored in the sunroom was put down in the garden in my playhouse, where there was darkness and dust, and where spiders and ants and insects lived. When my father remarried after my mother's death, I acquired a stepmother. My father died, and in his will, he left me, among other things, my mother's sewing machine. Far away across the water in my playhouse on the island is my machine marked Singer in fancy golden writing. My stepmother guards the playhouse door. She's not a wicked stepmother who would lead me into the forest and abandon me to wolves. She is not my mother. She lives in my mother's house and sleeps in my mother's bed and when she looks into my mother's looking glass, my mother does not look out. I am grown up. I live on the mainland. My stepmother has got my sewing machine locked in my playhouse. 